So now that you have a basic understanding of machining configurations, we'll move on to attributes. And again, attributes are just those parameters that are associated with a specific machining configuration. So to access the attributes, what we're going to do is select the Manufacturing menu, and we'll move down to Machining Configurations. And you'll note that the active configuration, or the file configuration at this point, is our file name, M4E001 Attributes 1. And you can either double click on that or select Edit to open up the machining attributes that are associated with that specific configuration. You'll note that you'll see all of the tabs for each attribute at the top. We have drilling, pecking, milling, the step over, lead and ramp, miscellaneous, operations, facing operations, tool selection, surface lead in, surface mill, and thread milling. So for the sake of this example, let's just take a look at our milling tab. And you'll note that there are various check buttons and a, and a couple of radio buttons as well. But in this particular example, we've specified that for all of the machining or all of the, the milling features that are, that are included with this particular part, um, we want to make sure that we're climb milling all of those parts. We want to make sure that we're using a bi-directional roughing. Uh, no finishing tool will, will be required or finishing cutter compensation. Um, you'll see that we're going to be making depth cuts first. In other words, we'll be plunging to depth, and then we'll be contouring the feature, in this case here, pockets. Um, the reordering uh, option is also checked, and there are other options that are associated with the milling tab that you can select. And, and just like the milling tab, uh, each tab has its own options that are associated with it. The drilling operation, we can specify a spot drill. Uh, prior to drilling to the final diameter. Or we can uncheck the spot drill box to forego the spot drilling and uh, simply just go and drill with the, with the, uh, the drill bit that we're going to be used for the final, that we're using for, uh, to take the hole to a final diameter. So we'll go ahead and put it back on spot drill. So this is, in, in, in a nutshell, the different options that are associated with the mach machining attributes uh, dialog window. And again, they are applicable to all of the features of your part or all similar features. In other words, all of these milling options that you see here will be applied to all of the milling uh, or pockets, in this case here on the part that you see on the screen. So I'm going to select OK and then select OK again to clear the, uh, to clear the windows. But what if I wanted to specify that this particular pocket in the middle of the part was just a little bit closer tolerance than the other four, and I wanted to make sure that, that it was machined just a little bit slower and maybe with a higher spindle speed uh, just to make sure that I get a better surface finish and a more accurate uh, pocket in the middle. But not, it, not completely necessary for these other four pockets. To do it for the other four pockets um, would, would just be a waste of time. So is there a way to just set an attribute associated with this particular feature in the middle? And the answer is yes, you can do that. And to do that, we'll go to the toolbox on the left-hand side of the screen, and we'll select the part view. And when you do that, you see all of the features that are associated with your part. In this case here, we have five pockets on the part, and you see pocket one, pocket two, pocket three, four, and five. And I'm not really sure which pocket is pocket uh, or the pocket in the middle, but let's select pocket five and you'll see that the pocket in the middle has highlighted it in red, indicating that I have selected the proper pocket or this particular pocket is pocket five. So we'll click on the drop down menu for pocket five and then we're going to select properties. And when we do that, you'll see all of the properties that are associated with that pocket are shown. And on the left-hand side, you'll see all the operations that are associated with machining this pocket. And so let's just quickly go through these. Um, we have a roughing uh, a pass or a roughing cuts, a series of roughing cuts. We have finishing operations. And then we have a chamfer uh, that will form the chamfer around the lip of the pocket that you see um, in, the, uh, in the wireframe here. So again, we want to make sure that the finish cut is a little bit finer than the defaults. So if we go to finishing we can see that uh, we only have two options, one for plunge and one for milling, but 
I'm going to go ahead and select the first finishing pass, and, and you'll see that I have several options here that I can adjust. So if I go to Tools or the Feeds and Speeds option is really the one I'm concerned with. I have step overs, Plunge, and Milling. But let's go back to the Feeds and Speeds. And again, I want to slow the feed down for this pocket for the just for the finishing pass. And I want to increase the spindle RPM. So instead of 5200 RPMs, let's go ahead and select or change that to 5500 RPMs. And you'll note when we do that, we have an override checkbox that is automatically checked by default. And my feed, I want to change it from 46.8 inches per minute. I want to cut that down to 20 inches per minute, make a very slow uh, finishing feed. Again, I'll leave my coolant set where it is. And once I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to select Apply. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now that pocket has different machining attributes than all of the remaining pockets. Now, one of the most powerful features of Feature Cam, as we explained before, is the 3D simulation. And uh, you, we did use the uh, simulation toolbar in some prior lessons, but one thing that we didn't explore was the, was the uh, machine simulation option, which is very much like the 3D simulation uh, option, only you can see the features of the machine uh, while the component is being, uh, while, the, while each feature is being machined out. So let's select machine simulation, and we're going to take our sim speed, and we're going to crank that all the way down uh, to about uh, 25 or 20 percent. Um, we'll throttle that back so we can regulate or actually see the machining operations being uh, being accomplished a little bit better. Otherwise, it'll be too fast and it'll be too hard to tell uh, which features are being cut. So once we've done that, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and we'll select play. And now you can see the block and all of the pockets being machined, the outer pockets being roughed out first. You can actually see the cutter and the spindle and the table. Again, now we're machining our, our uh, we're rough machining the inner pocket. Now we're doing the finished machining for the outer pockets. Now watch what happens when we go back in and start machining our inner pocket. Um, because we change that, it'll be a very slow feed around the outside once we do that finishing operation. Here's our ball end mill. Nice slow feed around the outside for that finishing operation. And then we cut our outside, and we're complete. So to summarize, we've talked a little bit about the machining configuration window, which is accessed from the manufacturing menu machining configurations, how to access the attributes that are associated with a specific configuration by either double-clicking or selecting the edit function. Then we discuss some of the different options that are available in the machining attributes uh, window and how all of these attributes apply to all of the features or all similar features of your part unless you specify that one particular feature or specific features um, have overrides, which we did do in this case here. We overrid or overrode the, uh, the RPM, the spindle RPM, and the feed rate for our finishing pass on the center pocket because we wanted to make it just a little bit more accurate. Um, but at the same time, we didn't need that accuracy in the other four pockets. So. That is just an example of how you can optimize your process um, and singularly apply attributes to a single feature.